In this video, I'll quickly show you how to build this multiple filters project in React.js. Before moving on to the coding part, here's a quick demo. As you can see, there's a filter section on top over here and the four filters are different categories. And below that, there's a list of products for each filter category. Now, when I click on any filter category, the list of products updates to show the products belonging to the selected category only. Now, apart from this, you can also select multiple filters at the same time. And the list of products displayed will be updated accordingly to show products related to the categories selected in the filter above. You will learn how to filter based on single or multiple categories selections. This is a very useful feature implemented by many popular e-commerce sites. Now without any further ado, let's get started. First of all, I'm not going to walk you through the styles. You can copy paste the styles from the style.css file present in the GitHub link for this project attached in the description below. So moving on, I'll first create a file named items.js that will export an array of all items we will be displaying. The items will be an array of objects with each object having a name and category property. Next, I will create another file named multifilters.js which will be the component containing all the logic and I'll import multifilters.js in app.js file. Now in multifilters.js file, I will first import the items from the items file and then I will also import the styles. After that, I'll create two states, the first being selected filters which will be initialized as an empty array and the second state will be filtered items which will be initialized with the items that we imported. The filtered item state will update based on selected filters. Initially, it will display all the items and that's why I initialized it with items. After that, I will initialize a filters variable that will be an array of strings containing all the categories that we want to filter based upon. Now before adding functionality, let's make the UI come into life. So in the return statement, we need two divs within the parent div. The first div will contain the filter categories, whereas the second div will contain the list of items. I will also add subsequent class names for each of the div. Now in the first div, I'll map through the filters array and display the categories. Each of the categories will be a button tag. Now within the button, I will add an onClick handler that will take a function named handle filter button click. I will pass the individual category from the map method callback as an argument to handle filter button click function. Don't worry, I'll soon create the logic for this function. After that, I will add a class name of button and the class name will be toggle between button active or button if the category selected is present within the selected filters array. We will add the selected category into selected filters array in the handle filter button click function. So basically whenever we click a filter, the active class name will be triggered which just turns the selected filters background color black and its subsequent text color to white. And lastly, I'll add a key to this button as well. After that, in the second div, I will simply map through the filtered item state and display the item name and item category of each item within a div. Each item will have a class name of item and the item category will have a class name of category. Now I'll write the logic for handle filter button click. It's going to be very simple. As we know, this function receives the selected category as a parameter. So I will write an if condition, where if the selected category is already present in selected filters array, then we will filter that category out and update the selected filters array to not contain that category. Since if it already exists in the selected filters array and we are clicking it again, then that essentially means we are trying to remove or deselect that filter. And if the selected category doesn't exist in the selected filters array, then we will simply add it to the selected filters array. Now lastly, whenever selected filters array changes, we need to update the list of items displayed. So I'll add a use effect which will have the selected filters as its dependency. Within the use effect, I'll call a function named filter items. Now within the filter items function as the name suggests, we will filter the items based on the selected filters. So if selected filters array has any categories, then I'll map through the selected filters array. And within the map method, I will filter through the items array we imported and filter out the elements having same item category and selected category. The filter items will be stored in a temp variable. Remember, filter returns an array and we are returning it in temp variable. Now if you console log temp items, then it will contain an array of arrays because map also returns an array. And for each selected category, we are filtering and returning the set of items having the same category as selected category. So for each selected category, we'll get an array of arrays returned with each array containing items of a specific category present in selected filters array. 
and that's why I will flatten the temp items so that the array of arrays gets flattened into a single array and then update the filtered list of items in filtered item state. And if selected filters array didn't have any category in the first place, then I'll update the filtered items arrays with the array of items that we had imported. This is required in case we deselected all the selected filters because then the list of items displayed in the UI would become the default list of items array. This is all we need to do. Now if I select a single filter or multiple ones, the list of items update based on the selected categories. And if I deselect all filters, then it displays the list of all items. So that's all for the video. This is a very useful mini project. If you enjoyed the video and want more such videos, then don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.